the special thing about Irumugan is we've done something where he's played another actor. There's been criticism that you are not presenting the LGBT community. You no, know, to start with, he's not like a trans. Love is not a transgender or anything like that. Instead of actually beating up people, he dress changes himself, dressing up like a nurse. That's all. I'm revealing this to you. <laughs> Thing is, like when Vikram and Nayanthara are together, see the audience to start with, they're gonna look forward to that combination. They haven't worked with each other before. Does it appear in the first half of the movie? Yeah, yeah. It appears in the first half of the movie. <laughs> So is it possible that Akilin and uh, Love are the same person? My thing is when you start watching the film, if you forget the fact that hey, what they are actually same actor, right? If you forget that fact and see them as two different people, it works. I I like your Arima Nambi. It's a very good uh, thriller, the way you have made it. And uh, you are coming from the A.R. Murugada school. Basically, you have done uh, Tupaki with him as associate. And uh, what is the highlight of Irumugan? Is it something similar? Is it a thriller? Or just tell us in a nutshell what Irumugan is about. Yeah, Irumugan, the special thing about Irumugan is uh, in comparison to Arimanambi, we can't compare it because uh, that's more like a thriller which, um, which happens in one night and you know, th those kind of uh, a film. Um, but Irumugan is very different in the sense that it's got a bit of science fiction in it and it's a bigger action film and it's something when I started writing itself it was supposed to cater to a larger audience. So Arimanambi is but still at the end of it when it's a thriller we have a specific set of audience for that. So this film is commercial in the sense that we have things which is more like kind of flick that earns most money, you know, like a big action so thriller. So, what you are it. saying is, uh, this is a commercial entertainer? It's definitely a commercial entertainer, but I've tried to cut off a lot of cliché from it. And I've also tried to do, um, add a little bit of new elements to it in the sense, the story would have something different in it. And that is something which initially when you hear, like there are people who would say, hey, it's, it's a commercial film, like would you want to like try something like that? Why would you want to experiment on something like that? So I want to do a commercial film with a twist, like you know, with something else, like added flavor to it. So which makes it um, a set of, there, there is a huge set of audience which probably do not approve of regular commercial films. So I wanted them to like this film also. You are saying is, is it an A-class uh, commercial cinema or does it cater to B and C also? No, because like I make films which are like stylish and like, you know, because it's, it's looking nice, it's looking posh and it's shot abroad, people might think it's an A-center film, uh, which is actually not true because uh, we've done it in such a way that it actually reaches all the audience. Like it looks like that, it's packaged like that, it might look like an uh, you know, English film because we shot it abroad. But the content of it is told in such a way that in, like everybody would enjoy it. And we haven't taken the audience lightly. We've actually like researched on it and we've done some stuff. So I think that will be appreciated. Tell us about Vikram's two roles as Akilin and Love. Yeah, it was, it was interesting for me. Mainly writing Love itself was so much fun for me when I wrote it. So um, these guys are so different from each other. So Akilin is uh, one raw agent who is who is somebody who doesn't follow rules and he's going to stab and like hit people even before, you know, he talks to them. Kind of a very violent kind of a guy. And this guy is very different in a sense. Of the protagonist is someone who, uh, like, I would probably write like even later in life. Like you know, he would be a nice protagonist, like a police, like a agent and everything. He's good. Like he's very cold and in a very different way. But this other guy, the antagonist, is something which like I really liked also because it's very unique. So this guy, like I wouldn't say a lot of people ask me, so is he that kind of a character, is he this and all that. I'm just saying he's very, some, somebody who's very unpredictable. The trailer simply rocked. Okay. Everybody was, I mean, I had a very good impression of the trailer. And in that, uh, you had given that extra, let's say, extra footage to love. And uh, would you say that love character was revealed a little too early or do you feel... I'm thinking in the trailer, he comes actually only in five shots. Ah. But it's a two minute trailer. Ah. So it still feels like love was shown so much only because that character has so much of impact. Yeah. You know, in the whole trailer he comes and towards the end when there's a last dialogue, people think that uh, yeah. I've ended it on... J just tell us the last dialogue. That's the most memorable thing on the Yeah, trailer. that one where he says, uh, Yeah. Every film has needs that USP in. Okay. 
when you know what it is like you might as well show it to the in the trailer so that's the reason why we revealed all tell me something about vikram vikram specializes in these kind of roles when you cast vikram did you look at that commercial angle yeah i did because it's not just that commercial angle i bother about see there are few uh, like big actors in the film industry so if i actually want to do something here i have been thinking that i need to give them something which they appreciate like in their career because they do a lot of films like it should be something where the audience and them like they they actually need to love that film it, it should be a milestone if it is then i'm happy like that's what is going to elevate me also so when it comes to vikram like okay fine i did my first film and immediately i got a big actors dates so that's not the end of it like at the end of it the film's going to come out and people so they're going to question me as to what have you done with vikram like because each person is appreciated for something like if you actually work with like a rajini sir or something and if you do not show like what he is actually capable of which they did then that's why it's a success so so with vikram sir like even before i just gave him a line and the script was developed for him yeah but uh, there were rumors at that time you had approached another actor no no i didn't approach because i had this character in place and i knew we were discussing saying i can't cast someone else so how do we work around this and that's when when it is vikram sir like i've had i have this advantage of uh, asking him to do things like you know like go into looks and try something crazy and it might not work for everybody but when when you have him so you might as well experiment and it was yeah it was good for me because uh, i i i never had to like control my writing i never had to think okay like who can like would so somebody be able to back of your mind when you wrote the story it was vikram throughout when the idea was there it was much before yeah. the idea has been there for quite some time when i knew vikram came on board i wrote it differently now there's been criticism that uh, the lgbt community yeah is uh, really i mean a little pissed off with the trailer of the movie what is your comment because apsara reddy uh, mm. well known transgender in uh, chennai has commented uh, in her facebook page okay. about this film and uh, that you are not presenting the lgbt community in a good light yeah you know to start with he is not like a trans love is not a transgender or anything like that so the thing is if someone dresses up as a nurse like if people think that he's a cross dresser like if, if he enters a hospital like instead of actually beating up people he dress changes himself dressing up like a nurse that's all i'm revealing this to you <laughs> <laughs> there's there's nothing more to it okay. so, so so even uh, if there's even if the mannerism or something like that if people think what i am saying is in no part of the film like have we for any community for that matter have we insulted them such criticism when i was made you had uh, there was so much yeah. criticism against shankar for showing yeah because they had an issue because there was a scene where they probably made fun of whatever right that's what i like when i, I when i read the articles what i deciphered from that but we don't have anything where you make fun of somebody or you don't have other people commenting on somebody like that you get what i'm saying so yeah. all that is not there so this is like see when you have the hero who is like who's really rough and hard and everything this guy is more cat like and he is smooth in what he does so akilan would go and bash up people break doors and enter this place this guy will jump in through a small door he'll come he'll change himself like a nurse you know what i'm saying it's for that contrast that we actually created this so this has nothing to do with when people watch the film they will just love it and go nobody will complain because it has nothing to do with like i there's no mentioning of anybody there in the first place yeah. when you have a star like vikram how did uh, nayantara come on board yeah so when i had the script in place Uh, when i was discussing with uh, vikram sir it was nayantara that came to like you know we were planning on casting her only not just because she hasn't worked with vikram it's not that this film calls for something like for nayantara so when you see the film you'll know that because they, that screen presence and whatever she has that she has that aura around her which and people she has a huge popularity with the people at the end of it we're doing a commercial film so capitalize on it so i wanted her on board but then again with lot of you know again with budgeting and the canvas itself is big and then when i'm saying i need big technicians i need big actors and i still want to shoot abroad i still want to do this then everything becomes bigger and rd rajshekar is a yeah. cameraman it's then it really became a big uh, budget movie yeah like yeah rd i had because he worked in my previous film also mm. uh, but at the end of it when shibu came in and my shibu sir and producer came in mm. so he took it to a different level so he said so this film like didn't you think of nine didn't you think of Uh, Harris and everything. I was like, yes, I thought of it, but who's going to give me all those people? And he said, no, I'm going to do it. Like, let's do it this way. Like, if you're going to do it, let's do it like that. You know. So it happened that way. I'm happy. Like, but Harris has been a little out of form. 
but uh, in this film this helena song has really put him into a new level yeah, what yeah. what about the music of the movie yeah i love i be, see for me i really have been thinking that if you inspire him with a good story like any music director so that's when they'll be able to and he was very excited about this script in particular tell so, us about he, how helena was composed yeah helena like i usually what i do is uh, i never i just tell him i inspire him with what the story is i don't tell him i need this kind of a song or send him a song saying can we do something like this we don't do that so he knew the situation the thing is like when vikram and nayanthara are together see the audience to start with they're going to look forward to that combination they haven't worked with each other before but that poster worked that mm. helena song poster the poster itself worked it, it worked big time yeah okay yeah. you have a glamorous heroine like nayanthara is there any glamorous scenes in the movie especially in the beaches see the, it depends on the type of the film so it's not like okay we have nayanthara so we have to show some glam it's not that this kind of film is if i say okay if people are going to say hey this film like you know it has that feel of like a bond movie then what do we have to provide like i need to give them that okay there's a car scene there's a car chase yes bond checklist okay done what's the next thing okay this girl has to like the women in the film have to look like really like chick and you know ah, really yeah. nice and that has to be there and she is somebody who uh, who is very particular so if she knows the story and if she knows the way this film has to be presented like she works on it like i don't have to go to her and tell her that you know hey can we like lift up the glam quotient doesn't work that way so e, you are saying that nayanthara worked on the character herself she definitely worked on it because she is somebody who who respects the frame so much she would never be lethargic you tell her there's just one shot can we just finish this and go she would be like no like i need to know what it is so that she would be like perfect and she would be ready and she would come in front of the frame so for me the tension is not there like which is so good for me Mm-hmm. because uh, when when you work with actors if you have to like always like care about like you know how are they going to be presented to the audience she is very good at that and uh, mm-hmm. what is nitya's role in the movie nitya plays uh, like an agent with vikram like a raw agent thing she plays a nice character in this film actually so a lot of people rejected this film uh, so nitya's character like a lot of people because it doesn't have that regular romantic angle with vikram mm-hmm. it doesn't have that uh, song element with vikram and all that So and that's the case people question saying okay is this heroine or no but nitya wasn't like that when i actually went and narrated it to her she loved it even more she was like what you don't have like proper songs and everything this is interesting the character is so nice so she plays a very interesting character in the film who forms the backbone of the story like you know she takes it forward it's nice does vikram do comedy or only thambi ramaiya does uh, comedy no, he'll be they'll be part of it because it's not track comedy no oh it's we, not yeah, no, we don't cut to thambi ramaiya's track comedy or anything oh, okay. like so it's, since it's part of the film mm. like he's very much inside the humor itself mm. and vikram like you can say if this guy is somebody who breaks the rules mm. tambiram is somebody who follows everything by rules mm. then the dark humor works there no okay yeah it's <laughs> like that you know idu rendu cover operation even if for operation le enak ethra operation aapudu and uh, tell who they tell us about the action scenes in the film we got ravi verma who's uh, been working yeah, with charu and salman yeah he's done bollywood movies lot yeah he's good he's very good like he, we worked with him and then we worked with anbari who worked in kabali and all that the twins twin guys so both of them d- did like uh, a great job and we took it to a level where we blocked like huge like over bridges in malaysia and we shot then we shot car chases in like you know small shopping streets and all that we did something uh, interesting like that then even here no we created this huge one on tunnel kind of a set and we shot action sequences there so we we've given some importance to action because this film needs that and i think it's good like they've done a good job all that we always were careful is like the physics shouldn't go like even if it's a car blast or even if people flying and all that we used to storyboard it exactly because this is what i want if someone hits somebody they cannot fly they need to be you know that logic is always we maintained it in the film so i think it'll be more realistic So is it possible that Akilin and uh, Love are the same person in the story? Yeah. Okay, like that is something which nobody has asked me before and I haven't discussed anywhere in any place. <laughs> they are not. So <laughs> they are not. They are not. <laughs> they are two different persons yeah. because there's a rumor going around both Akilin and Love are the same. <laughs> It's exciting to have all these rumors. Let them watch it in cinemas. Yeah. But then they are not. They like he's we've done something where he's played another actor. Okay. So that's why he looks different like his features are different. Mm. And you know we worked on all that and so at the end of it my thing is when you start watching the film like halfway or like 3/4 through it if you forget the fact that hey what they are actually same actor right? Mm. So if you forget that fact and see them as two different people it works. And uh, what about uh, the whole film as a packaging and what is what is the reason why the film got a UA certificate? 
see it's basically ua is not ua and u are the same basically only a is different it comes under ua so they did not give me any cuts like there was no visual cuts but ua is see what they say is uh, the theme of the film it's no the film is actually clean it's an entertainer only but see when ki- u is okay kids can go watch it alone mm. ua is kids can watch it mm. but can but you please watch it with your parents? parents yeah so th- we didn't argue with them so when they say yeah let I mean, it's, it's a, for everybody to watch it's going to come on tv it's for everybody to watch but we give it ua because of the science fiction action and all this and there. the producer and the distributor no objection because if you get a u you get a tax free yeah these guys are good i'm very happy shibu sir was sitting right next to me uh-huh. and i was the one who was requesting saying is, it, is there any possibility in all it he was amazing he was like hey if they're giving that it's okay like we'll make money <laughs> so uh-huh. i'm like wow <laughs> like really <laughs> you don't you're not forcing me i thought you're going to say cut the cut half the film i need only you and all that he was like no no we are not cutting anything they said no cuts i'm happy <laughs> let's release the film like this okay and has so, vikram seen the movie uh not yet he's seen it at dub and he's seen it at mix and different no levels. he hasn't seen the complete the whole thing he hasn't like he's been waiting to watch it <laughs> what is the running time of the film running time should be somewhere around uh, 228 Type. 228 yeah at the end of it will be 230 because of With the all, yeah. statutory warning so you have kept it uh, you, don't you feel that today 228 itself is a little too long i don't think so because uh, it depends on again how the screenplay and the film itself is Mm. and also with the scale of the film mm. so when you have ikram nayantar you have the other character and the screenplay is good 228 was holdable like when i worked as a first ad tupaki was 253 you will not believe if i tell you yeah. people will be like really it was actually 253 mm. and i had this huge argument with, the, with my director also saying sir 253 are you sure about this then we sat and we saw the film and we were like no it doesn't feel like 253 it's like weather okay. like weather is 28 but feels like 24 yeah So I saw the film and it feels like 215 for me <laughs> so I'm like okay let's do this 220 I don't want to go into that number thing too much and uh, what is the content about because I believe commercial cinema whatever packaging is there content is most important do you yeah. think the story will work with uh, the today's audiences yeah I am I really think it would because uh, like I personally feel that the story uh, whatever story we come up with if the screenplay is good then they would like it because a lot of people asked me so do you want to tell like you know different like you're saying some concept in science fiction do you want to say stories like this what if it doesn't work like it's mm-hmm. happened before and everything so i kept telling them that uh, no if you actually if they think they like the screenplay then they would like the film like the way you present it mm-hmm. so all that i am thinking is the screenplay has to work but so uh, in your screenplay vikram yeah. is the hero and the villain do you yeah. think it will work yeah it would Uh, because that is created that's created the hype that we wanted you feel right that now. has created the that possibility. has definitely created the hype no doubt about it because they expect that out of vikram you say same vikram is not doing anything he's just coming and doing mass they would be like huh. like i'm being very frank they have mm. other people also to watch no when yeah. it's that so when it's vikram he's the only one that they would see that yes do something different for us like you know give us that so that we'll enjoy yeah. so and it's my duty to provide something like that and i think it's come out well in this film Mm-hmm. and this whole hero villain thing would work if the scenes are good mm-hmm. so that's up to the audience to decide yeah and uh, all the best thank and let's so hope that you have a blockbuster in your oh thank you so much